Assisted Lab, Assisted Lab, Developing Administrative PowerShell Scripts. Scenario. While the precise syntax varies by language, most of the fundamental structures of scripts are universal. As in Bash, in PowerShell you will work with functions, variables, and branching slash looping logic. To complete this task, analyze a PowerShell script for security violations and attempt to remediate them. Objectives. This activity is designed to test your understanding of and ability to apply content examples in the following CompTIA server plus objective. 2.6 Summarize Scripting Basics for Server Administration 0% Tasks Complete Next, analyze a PowerShell script. Analyze a PowerShell script. Identify conditional statements in a PowerShell script. Focus on the variable declared in line 6 and then on the first looping statement. PC10 Username is an array. The loop uses the number of items in the array, the five username strings, to repeat a block of code. The array is numbered from 0, so when evaluating when to end the loop, we must test for less than or equal to low operator, the number of usernames minus one. The plus plus operator increments the counter. 
PowerShell. 4. Dollar user equals 0, dollar user le dollar username dot count 1, dollar user plus plus. 30% tasks complete. Previous next, use secure credential. Use secure credential storage. Storing passwords within code, as this script does in line 2, is a security risk. This file could get backed up to another computer or copied to a code repository. Anyone with access to it would be able to read the password. That gives an attacker the opportunity to test this password against these and other accounts, gives clues about the way the user chooses passwords, and so on. We can use the secure string object feature of PowerShell to create and store a default credential more securely. Modify the script to use a secure password container to set the default account password. The string you entered has been encrypted. This password file is locked to the user account that created it. If the default underscore password underscore audit dot txt is copied to another computer or account or to removable media, the plain text password will not be retrievable. Execute script. Run the script and then test that it creates the accounts with the correct default password. Right-click start and select Windows PowerShell, Admin. Select Yes at the UAC prompt.
Review Lab. Answer the following comprehensive questions to ensure that you recognize the importance of the activity steps and the uses for the information you have learned. What security risk was highlighted in this lab? Adding servers without authorization. Adding accounts without authorization. Configuring improper permissions. Exposing credentials in scripts. Correct. What type of variable was used to implement the loop structure in the code? Array. Comparator. Conditional. Boolean. String. Correct. 100% tasks complete. Previous next, Grade Lab. Grade Lab. That concludes this lab. Please ensure you end it properly rather than just closing the browser window. Once you select Submit, you will not be able to return to this lab instance. If you want to repeat the lab, you can launch a new instance from your lab portal. Check all the step boxes above to mark all tasks as complete and make sure you have submitted responses to all the activities. Select Submit below to grade the lab. 100% tasks complete. Previous Submit.